Hey guys, this week we're going to talk about what it means to be comfortable. And sometimes we can become very comfortable, very, maybe complacent in our game. And that can happen when we say, oh, you know, well, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good on my, my range, my, my glove's good, I, you know, I track balls pretty well, I'm hitting the outside pitch well, maybe not so much the inside pitch, but it's okay, I'm pretty comfortable, I'm going to stick with that pitch. That can be dangerous, right? Because you don't know what kind of situations you're going to be put in, you don't know where you know, the other team's going to hit you a ball, you don't know what's going to happen as far as how the game's going to change, right? This can happen in our spiritual lives also, and it's definitely scary because you can say, okay, God, well, I feel comfortable with where I am with you, I, you know, I'm ready to go, I know some scripture, you know, it's written on my heart, I'm, you know, I'm okay. And that can be scary because that's when we're most susceptible to fall, when we become comfortable or we feel safe, right? feel like, you know, we spent a great week at camp or, you know, we've really been diving into the Word lately and then we go home and kind of back off a little bit and we're, we're at home, right? We're safe. So I know some of you have a place where, you know, it's, you feel comfortable at home or you feel comfortable at school, but there are some times that we kind of put our guard down and we back off a little bit rather than diving into the Word completely every day and giving it our all, our effort to stay within that Word. So, in 1 Corinthians verse, or chapter 10, verse 11, it says, So if you think you're standing firm, be careful that you do not fall. Okay, that's huge because there are times when we think we're, you know, I'm good, God, I'm prepared for this, I'm ready, whatever it is that you have me doing next, I'm ready, like, let's go, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. And sometimes we can fall into the feeling that we're comfortable, but... Maybe we're not where we need to be. Maybe we're becoming complacent rather than diving into His Word daily and searching and searching for His love that we so desperately need. So becoming comfortable in the sport as well as in our Christian life, it's not a great thing to do because, you know, it feels good. It feels safe. It's like, okay, God, you know, I'm ready. Whatever's going to come at me, you know, I feel strong. I feel confident, which confidence in Christ is not bad. But when it comes to the point where we say, uh, you know, I'm all right, I don't need to, you know, do extra work here. I don't need to dive into the Word as much as, you know, we did at camp or, you know, God's going to work, you know, on things that I need help with without me putting in time. That's when we'd be saying, you know, that we're comfortable, we're complacent, we need God to really shake up our hearts and shake up our minds to keep us from becoming comfortable, from being stagnant. Um... An illustration that's helped me a lot is someone pointed to a fountain to me once and he said, okay, see the water around the fountain? And I was like, yes. And it's how brown and nasty. And he's like, okay, now look at the water in the fountain. How it's bubbling, how it's changing, how it's churning. And I was like, okay. And he said, okay, God takes that water, which is us, and he has to shake it up sometimes so that we can see truly what he's doing, how he's working, what it is that he's doing next in our lives. That's a pretty bold statement to say, Okay, God, I trust you to be this fountain, to shake me up, to turn me around, to keep me moving so that I don't become stagnant, I don't become comfortable in my faith with you. So, something that had impacted me before camp and during camp at FCA this last week, so uh, I hope you guys can take that to heart, and if it's something that you struggle with, definitely dive into God's Word and dive into His presence to ask Him where it is that you need strength or you need help with Him. So, God bless. See you guys next week. Thank you.